A lot of times we'd like to take an equation written in rectangular form and write it as a set of parametric equations. In other words, we want to introduce a parameter like a t and write the x and the y separately in terms of this parameter. All right, so again, just to make it clear, you have a, a function of x, and then we want to break this apart to where the x and the y are written separately, and they're both influenced by t. We want the curve to be the same, but this curve will have an orientation after it's parametrized. First thing I'll say is that there's lots of right answers. There's not just one way to parametrize a curve. There's infinitely many different ways you can parametrize the curve because basically, if y is a function of x, you could, be, you could pick x to be practically anything and then just take all the x's out in your function and replace them with what you've chosen x to be. And then you've got a, uh, your parametrization for the y part. Uh, now the easiest way I'll say is to simply let x be t, right? So if you let x be t, then what you're gonna, all basically gonna do is, you know, if x is t, then your y suddenly becomes a function of x, not a function of t, because you've taken the t out and swapped it with an x, and you're done. Um, but there are other ways. Now, if if that theory doesn't doesn't quite make you know perfect sense, let me show you with some examples. Here's an example of an equation written in rectangular form. It has x's and y's, and let's see if we can parametrize this guy. So when we're done, we'll have x equal to something and y equal to something, and I want this guy to be a parametrization of this equation here. And my tip earlier was just always let the x just be t. And now we see why this works. It's because if y equals 2x squared plus 1, but x is t, then you suddenly have y equals 2t squared plus 1, and you're done, right? There's nothing more to do. You've parametrized this curve here. Um, this parametrization has an orientation that the original equation did not have, but the curves look the same. And that's automatic. And so usually if you have to parametrize something, do that and you're done. Now, again, earlier I had said that's not the only way to parametrize a curve. Let's look at some different parametrizations for the same problem. Uh, for this time, this time let's let x equal, uh, let's let it be 2t instead of just a t. Well, then your y that used to be 2x squared plus 1, we're just going to come back up here and we'll take whatever x was parametrized to be, in this case 2t, we'll substitute that value in for x, in this case 2t, and then we'll see how everything plays out. In this case, y would be Let's see, 2t squared is 4t squared, and 4 times 2 makes 8t squared plus 1. So if x equals 2t and y equals 8t squared plus 1, that's a different parametrization for the same equation. Now, what would be the practical difference between this parametrization versus this one? Well, I kind of explained this one in, er in an earlier video. This one might sketch out the curve faster or slower than this parametrization does, but but it's still going to generate the same same looking curve. All right, let's do a couple more. Um, how about this one? Uh, what if we let x equal uh, maybe this time t plus 3? Well, in this case, you'd have 2x squared plus 1, but in this case, x is t plus 3. And so if you foiled that and simplified and all those good things, you would get uh, y equals 2t squared, and I'll spare you the, spare you the algebra, uh, let's see, plus 12t, uh, let's see, plus uh, 19, I believe, if I did my algebra correctly, and you can, you can check my math on that. But here we have a, a parametrization that's different than the first two. Okay, now the last one we're going to do is um, has a, a different spin to it. Let, let me do this parametrization and then we'll talk about how this one's different. This time, rather than let x equal t, let's let x equal negative t. Then your y would equal 2 times negative t squared plus 1, which would be 2t squared plus 1. All right, so let, let's think about this one for a minute. 
All right, and uh, and actually, let me go back to the very first parameters parameterization I did first. Um, this graph, y equals 2x squared plus 1, is a parabola that looks something roughly like this, right? And you notice based off of this parameterization, as t gets larger, x gets larger. So the orientation would be in this direction. We would have orientation from left to right. All right. Um, now for the second and third examples, you would have the same basic shape but this one would progress through the curve faster or slower uh, as with this one but the last one's a, a little bit of a different animal you would still have the same basic shape to the curve but notice now as the t gets bigger the x gets smaller right because if t is zero x is zero when t is one x is negative one when t is 2, x is negative 2. And so what I'll ask you, what's the big difference between this graph and the first graph that I drew? Well, he is oriented from right to left as opposed to left to right. So when you're creating these different parameterizations, you can make them be oriented left to right, right to left, uh, progress through the curve faster or slower, or hit different x, y values at specified times. You can do whatever you want. Um, but, but anyways, hopefully this example helps you better understand parametrizing a curve just a little bit better.